Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist. Today we are talking about tomato. Now, tomato is something that a lot of you guys love and you're just wondering, are there carbs in it? Are there secret or hidden carbs in tomato? Let's talk about it. So guys, basically, tomatoes are not high in carbs. So one medium tomato will be around 5 grams of carbs. So, question. You brought a tomato from the market, and the tomato is broken. What do you do with that tomato? How do you fix a broken tomato? Yes? Well, use a tomato paste. Well, since we said that, let's talk about tomato paste. Well, tomato paste is not like tomato, right? So it is a little different because it is concentrated. It's like drinking orange juice versus eating orange. There is a little difference there, right? So when you squeeze the juice out of orange, you're ripping it off the fiber. And then you end up with more sugar and less fiber, and that is a problem, right? Same thing with tomato paste. It is more concentrated, so if you're using a lot of tomato paste on your food, or tomato or ketchup or whatever, that can definitely increase the amount of carbs that you're eating. So you have to be careful about that. So, question. What do you call a tomato that self-identifies itself as a carrot? Anybody? Yeah, that's called a transplant, guys. So another thing you have to be careful about is ketchup. So ketchup is something that if you're making at home, that's great and that's delicious. But if you are buying ketchup from outside, make sure you look at the nutrition label. So in the nutrition label, you may be surprised to see that the one tablespoon of ketchup is around five grams of carbs. Now, how many of you just eat one tablespoon of ketchup? What do you do with the ketchup? Take it in your hand and then just, you know, blend it in. A lot of ketchup, right? People love ketchup. I mean, I love ketchup. So, but you have to be careful because that can really cause problems. Now, if you want to measure your ketchup, do that. One tablespoon is five grams and you can easily go overboard. You know, let's say you're eating vegetables and you want to have some more taste to it and you add a lot of ketchup that can catch up with you. So make sure that you guys are paying attention to that. Now, quick story for you. Papa Tomato, Mama Tomato, and the Baby Tomato are walking on the street. Now the Baby Tomato starts to lag behind because the poor thing is tired. Now the Papa Tomato gets very angry and he goes and squeezes the Baby Tomato and says, catch up. All right, so I guess you can keep the don't get squeezed part because my wife says that worked out. So anyways, so guys, tomato is very versatile, right? So it's actually a fruit, as you know, but knowing is something. But the wisdom is not putting that fruit in your fruit salad, all right? Make sure, guys, the tomato is, you know, is in your diet. Uh, I actually love my tomatoes uh, at my breakfast, believe it or not. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is eating some feta cheese or Turkish cheese, whatever you call it, some white cheese. It's okay if you like the full fat, as long as it's not excessive. And you can eat that cheese with tomatoes and cucumbers, especially when it's in season, they taste really good. And I think they are overall low carb. So here you go, you have a great breakfast with some eggs. That way uh, it is more savory than sweet and you're not loaded with carbs. Again, since tomatoes are filling, you can use your tomatoes in your salads. Definitely it's a great taste. Now, tomatoes are really rich in potassium, calcium, and phosphorus as well. So if you have a blood pressure problem, having more tomato in your diet will definitely help because the less sodium and more potassium, especially from vegetables and tomato in your diet will definitely help your blood pressure as well. So guys, remember, if you like this video or the other videos we have, make sure you share, give a thumbs up and give a like. We'll like you, we we'll love you, we'll see you in the next video.